name is Malika Ali, and I am now attending the East Atlanta Village Farmers Market here at the Taste of East Atlanta in the Village Hardware parking lot. partnerships. More importantly, it's an important day for recognizing new opportunities for the families we at EHR serve every day throughout the year. And today we are proud to kick off Georgia's first farmer's market to accept food stamps. It's extremely important. We are very excited about this. And based on the data we have, approximately 4,000 households receiving food stamps are in this immediate area, so this is a great location for them to get nutritious food that they need going forward. So, I'm here with Miss Kathy Krieger, and I will be asking her a few questions dealing with the farmer markets. So, Miss Kathy, how long have you been working with the farmer market? Well, as the EBT project director for the state of Georgia, we have been working with this market since January to try to plan everything we could so that they could accept food stamps at this market. So, with accepting food stamps, have, has it improved the market growth as a community? Well, our goal at this point is that we feel as people who are food stamp households are able to come here and use their EBT card, it will help the community to prosper and add to the market's success. It's my privilege to introduce our major speaker speaker for the day, and my boss, uh, Mr. Roberto Salazar. I want you to know that he has been on the job as the National Administrator now since 2002. Been there a long time in that job, and, and I'm, I'm pleased to say he's been working to touch the lives of people, not only in Georgia, but all across this country. You know what? In this country, we have people who are in need of assistance when it comes to food. Uh, and the federal food stamp program is America's first line of defense towards hunger. Uh, at the Food and Nutrition Service of the U.S. Department of Agriculture, we are firmly committed to making sure that every American, every family, every individual, every child who is eligible for uh, is aware of and can participate in the federal food stamp program. How long have you been involved with the EAV Farmers Market? Well, you know, I personally just learned about the EAV Farmers Market about a week ago when my staff here in Atlanta called me to tell me about all the great work they've been doing with the Georgia Department of Human Resources and the EAV Farmers Market in order to help food stamp recipients come and buy healthy, fresh fruits and vegetables. So I'm very excited to be here today to kick off this event. That's good. So um, when did you begin to concern about healthy eating? Well, I've been concerned about people eating healthy all my life, but especially since I've been the administrator of the Food and Nutrition Service for America. You know, here in America, we do need to eat healthier and live healthier lives, and I'm always concerned in encouraging children and adults alike to live healthier lives, to buy healthier foods, and prepare healthier meals. And it starts right here in, in places like this, at the farmer's market, where we can get the freshest, the healthiest fruits and vegetables. And that's why I'm here reminding folks to make sure they take advantage of this opportunity. Here, I'm Nan Orrock, the state senator. I want to welcome our federal folks. Uh, Mr. Salazar, it's just an honor to have you here. And the partnership of the different government agencies at the state and the uh, federal level is exemplary. Uh, never doubt that a handful of people can change history. And Jonathan Teicher got together a handful of people, had a vision, and look where we are today. We stand here in the shadow of a high rise for senior citizens and disabled people with low and moderate income. This is an incredible opportunity for them to walk across the street and get homegrown, Georgia-grown, first-class vegetables that were many of which were picked this morning. Uh, Jonathan told you about our zip code. I live 
a few blocks away in our zip code. And this is a tremendous, tremendous anchor point for all the kinds of things that are unfolding here uh, in this part of Atlanta. We're excited to be a part of it. We want to really thank all the officials who stepped away from other duties, paid attention to this, said we can do this together. Don't worry about the silos. Don't worry about who shot John or who's on first. Let's all hit a home run together. And that's what we've done here today. And y'all can smell that basil from here, can't you? Yeah. You started growing hydroponic basil. Now we've got it fresh from Georgia and dirt uh, at all these vendors. Uh, it's, it's, it's just the kind of thing that it's a, you're privileged to be able to be a part of something like this that is a win-win for all of us. I'm here with Miss Nan Allrock, and I will first like to ask you a simple question. Why is it important for people to be involved with nutrition? Well, if you heard the saying, we are what we eat, you can get a lot healthier by eating good food, eating a diet of whole foods, nutritional foods, fresh foods, then taking a lot of pills. And uh, we can have a lot more people staying out of the drugstore and staying out of the hospital and staying out of the emergency room if they'll spend more of their energy getting fresh food instead of eating potato chips and junk food. So this, this farmer's market here makes it possible for people to walk out of their house and stroll over here and, and have the food brought in from all around Georgia by the people who grew it. So it's a great opportunity to get fresh food for really good prices. And uh, we're not paying the cost of hauling the lettuce from California. We're growing the lettuce right here in DeKalb County. And that is a win-win. This little background on our farmer's market, it started in 2006, about a block over from here. And we had four vendors, and we were three months out of the season, and we were pretty small. We, we kicked off with like 250 bucks to do some postcard flyers um, that we split with the business association in this neighborhood. And um, you know, leveraging that in order to get more community support from residents and businesses and property owners um, in the neighborhood and building trust with farmers to, to, to build this market up in this community. And I've been in this neighborhood for five years. I started out working at the rec center in this neighborhood, actually growing indoor hydroponic basil with teens at a, at a city of Atlanta recreation facility. And, and kind of from there, just kind of always pursuing opportunities to how we can provide more access to food in the neighborhood and opportunity for the market came along. A um, little background on East Atlanta. Um, 4,400 people are food stamp recipients in our zip code right here, which is 30316. Um, within a two mile radius of where we're standing right now, 18% of the households earn under $15,000 a year. So you know, there's a tremendous need for healthy food. There's also a tremendous need for, for affordable food. And so part of what we're doing as an organization, um, because what we did as a market was incorporate this year as a Georgia not-for-profit organization. So in addition to running the market and supporting local growers, we could also do programming in the community and, and with the people we wanted to outreach to. Uh, sun gold tomatoes. It's, it's a citrusy tomato, and these are a ground cherry. It's a berry in the tomato family. They've got these little paper husks around it. Uh, we've got cream sausage, Roma tomatoes, butternut squash, acorn squash, and uh, this is our one little Turkish orange eggplant. This is a uh, green sausage tomato. Okay. And. Uh, but yeah, we're in Franklin, Georgia, 70 miles south of here. We don't use any herbicides or pesticides. I've got peppers, eggplants, squash, cucumbers, tomato, different heirloom tomatoes, golden ray and basil, and small basil over here. www.farmeav.com